Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to find out if this phone, iPhone XR is going to survive from a car that just ran over it. As you can see, the screen is really shattered as well as the back, but it was protected by auto box case, I believe. But again, it is still not sure if it can survive. So let's find out. Wow, it's really bad, really shattered. But the client claims, my customer claims that the phone still rings, like the alarm just went off. And uh, he definitely needs to recover the pictures, information and whatnot. So the only way for me to tell is to change out the front screen so that I can gain access to the phone and unlock it and try to back it up to iCloud or sync it to iTunes or maybe transfer it to uh, to his new phones. All right, so let's let's find out. So, I'm gonna get the Pentalope P2, which is the uh, 0 0.8. See if I can uh, get the two screws out. Okay, I'm having some hard time on this screw here. Let's see if it comes out. I think the base is pretty bent, so having some difficulty to unscrew it. Okay, there you go. Get myself a metal prying tool. get underneath the phone you have to be very careful with the uh, broken glass because you do not want them to fly into your eyes Flip it to the right and going to be using a tri screwdriver which is the uh, three points. Remove the two screws. Remove the bracket. I'm going to remove the, uh, the screws here. Disconnect the battery. Okay. And the battery connector is on this part. Go ahead and disconnect that. Let's go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the flex cable on the LCD screen. The next part is to get the Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to remove this Phillips screw here. And remove that three screws, which is holding down the uh, bracket on this part and disconnect the front or the top proximity sensor or the ear speaker on the top here. Let's go ahead and remove the rest of it. I 
I hope that the phone still works. All he wants is the uh, pictures and the data of the phone. Not much so about repairing the phone. I think he already got himself a new phone. Uh, but what he needs is the information of it, which I hope that everything survive. So let's go ahead and help this guy out. Just change out the screen and see what happened next. So this is the front proximity sensor. It is still kind of uh, stuck with the uh, the bracket. All right, just remove them all. Put this thing on the side, move them on the side. Here's the replacement screen. I'm going to install the proximity sensor. We just got transfer over. Okay, there you go. Get it in there. Once it's in, go ahead and close it down. Get the screw. Okay, let's go ahead and start installing it. So I'll be installing the uh, the front here, the battery. slide the base back into it I'm going to have to screw Okay. Let's not have the other one. It looks like it's too narrow for that to get in. So let's put the rest of it. Hopefully there's still battery in it. There we go, voila! I do actually see a sign of Apple, uh, which is great. Great sign, great sign. I think the phone is gonna go back in a working condition. I'm sure he's gonna be a very happy customer, yep. Of course, I'm able to active the Face ID on the phone. Um, 
I think there was a damage to the uh, the front camera, but at least that he can access the phone. Look at that. Um, hey, things are working. So I'm very surprised. Uh, the phone was ran over by a car, and it was um, right on the street. And he found the phone, and he just worried about his stuff. So I guess Apple do make a very good product. That's all I can say. I think Apple uh, make a fantastic iPhones. And I think this is awesome um, with the screen replacement. He's able to uh, uh, get back to his stuff. So I'm very happy for him. Um, if you do happen to drop your phone, uh, you left it on the car and so, for whatever reason that you drop it, um, maybe there's a chance to save the phone to get your data. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.